Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for tuning in with me, Rogue FPV. I got a good little short one for you guys today. Now, I've been asked this a few times recently, and I know some of you guys that are newer to the hobby are also wondering, what happens if you mix motors with different KV on your quad? Now, here's a scenario that many of us have been in at one time or another. You're out at fly day, ripping around, all your lines are coming together, and then you hit something. You bend a bell or you smoke a motor and you think you're done for the day because you didn't bring any spares. But one of the homies in your fly crew has your back. He's got a spare and he spots you. You go to install it and you realize even though it's the same size, the KV on that new motor is a lot higher than what you normally fly. So let's just say as an example, you fly a 2306 1750 KV and the homie spots you a 2306 2450 KV. Now you're wondering, is that motor going to spin faster than all the other ones? And is your quad going to do crazy stuff? Well, the answer is no. That motor isn't going to spin faster than all of the others, even though the KV is higher. Betaflight will automatically limit that motor speed and match it to the others. Basically, the motor with the lowest KV will set the limit for the rest. In this example, we had three 1750 KV motors and we added one 2450 KV. The 2450 will be auto limited down to 1750 because the other motors have a lower KV and subsequently a much lower max RPM. Conversely, in another example, if you had three 2450 KV motors and your friend gave you a 1750 to use, all of your 2450s would be auto limited down to match the max RPM of the 1750 KV motor. You can always limit down, but never up. Why? because you can't add more windings to a stator. Let's take a quick look at the parts of a motor. All brushless FPV motors have two main parts, a stator and a bell. Inside the bell, which is usually made of aluminum, is a steel flux ring with magnets glued on that react with each of the three phases of the stator. Inside the bell, you may also find some balancing compound. This is used to prevent high speed oscillations, much like the weights on the wheels of your car. This isn't dirt left over from the factory, so don't try to remove it. These are all disassembled 2306 motors from different manufacturers. You can see the stator and bearings are all the same size. This means that the bells are always interchangeable between same size motors of different KV and generally interchangeable between different brands. A 2306 or a 2207 measurement will always be the same, but some brands have tighter tolerances than others. The stator is where all the magic happens. The stator is basically a support for the windings that make up the three phases and the two bearings that the bell's shaft turns on. Enamel coated copper wire is wrapped around each of the poles to create a specific amount of resistance. The overall length and thickness of the copper wire used determines the actual KV output of the motor. So a 1750 KV stator will have a different amount of wire wrapped around the poles than a 2450 KV. That's why you can swap bells all day long without issues, but if you swap a stator that isn't light KV for light KV, you need to know how the flight controller will deal with limiting the motor speed. Again, you can always limit the KV down, but you can never go up. Just to reiterate, you can put a bell from a 1750 KV motor on a 2150 KV stator and vice versa. The stator determines the KV, not the bell. Now, if you guys have four motors that you want to limit down, let's say you run 2450s on your 4S rig and you want to try 6S, you can scale them all down with motor output limiting in the motors tab of Betaflight. You can also set Betaflight to automatically scale the KV down based on the number of cells in the LiPo when you plug in. If you guys are interested in seeing a video about that, let me know in the comments section down below. Well, that about does it for this episode of Just a Tip. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe to my channel for more. If you have questions about Motor KV or anything we discussed in the video, let me know in the comments section down below. Check out some of the other videos in my Just a Tip playlist for helpful tips and tricks on how to make your FPV easier.